Welcome to Hood Champion Boxing and Sports. In boxing, find a way to win, find a way to lose. Well, we're getting a little bit of fidelity on the whole uh, per, fight purses for this heavyweight round robin between Fury, Usyk, AJ, and Wilder. Now, for those of you who've been following the channel, um, you know that we've been touching on this. You've heard stuff <laughs> like saying that the fight purses are going to total when the dust settles. And they get through this first wave of fights end of the year, and then have the two winners bubble up and fight next year, right? The, per the fight person is going to total $1 billion. Uh, then we saw a figure come out the other day said, for this first portion of the round robin, uh, the fight persons are going to total 320, 320 million pounds, right? So we still don't know, but Tyson Fury's come out and he said something. And uh, when he was talking to Simon Jordan over on uh, BT Talk Sport, uh, he, he suggested that it could be about $200 million in total. $200 million pounds in total for this first part of the round robin. Um, now, all four contestants will fight on the same night. Wilder and AJ, Komain, Fury, and Usyk, the main event. But well, supposedly... Tyson Fury is going to get about 90 million pounds. Usyk, 50 million pounds. And Wilder and AJ each get about 30 million pounds. Now, that's just a rumor. I'd say take it with a grain of salt. Um, but what we know, right, uh, is some of what's been confirmed is true is that the four guys are supposed to fight. Uh, what hasn't been confirmed is just how much each fighter are going to make. But we do know that everyone seems to be ecstatic about the money that's on the table. And when you look at that breakdown, it seems like something that's possible, right? It seems feasible. Tyson Fury really, really feels, you know, that he's the draw, uh, that, that he's the show pony, that he's the guy who's been carrying the heavyweight division. So, hey, he feels that this is, this is my net worth. He has a sense of value when it comes to himself. And he's just taking it right now as a like a point of principle. So the ninety million for Fury, then the fifty million for Usyk. That kind of sounds, you know, about right. But what we do know is when it comes to these Saudis, man, you know, there's going to be a certain amount of money to put on the table, and they're going to dictate who gets what. Um, and there isn't much negotiating there. It's this is what you get, take it or leave it. This is what you get, take it or leave it. They don't mind having a conversation. But the Saudis don't have time to keep going round and round and trying to, you know, carve, recarve uh, as far as how the purses are actually going to get split up. They don't have time for that. But I would think that these negotiations shouldn't be that complicated. But again, from what I'm gathering, Tyson Fury is still, you know, being complicated, but he doesn't want to stop the, uh, the event from happening. Um, and it's, it's just money. Money is the is the thing. Money, and just how much money uh, Tyson Fury can get. And it sounds to me that he really wants to come out. Although Usyk has, you know, majority of the belts, and Tyson Fury has the one. Tyson Fury still wants to be the guy who gets paid the most, and who can sit out there and, and basically say, "Hey, hey, guys, look at me. I can spit further than you." And um. It is what it is. But more to come, uh, just giving you guys an update on the fight purses and really letting you know. For those who are like, I believe the fight when I see it. I believe when there are press conferences. I believe it when fighters get into the ring. Let me tell you something. The, 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 this fight, this this fight, this round robin event, oh, it's coming. It's coming. It's just they're, they're still trying to f figure things out because it sounds to me like Fury, Usyk, Wilder and AJ all could have a fight mid-year. And, and if they do, that makes this even more interesting. Okay, because none of them can lose. None of them can get hurt. And if that happens, that could affect them being ready for a fight end of the year with the grand opening of this new, um, this new stadium. So that being said, let's see how this, let's see how, how this goes, but I'll be monitoring it. As, as it develops, and I'll be pro uh, providing updates as always. That being said, y'all keep cool. Shout out to the veterans, all seven continents. 
showdown in Saudi is coming in the breeze.